California Pacific Medical Center's telestroke program is a way for us to remotely beam into other hospitals and be able to provide uh, expert consultation on stroke patients in real time for the management of those patients and for evaluation and treatment of those patients. By having this technology available, you have the opportunity to immediately evaluate a patient. I'm here with uh, Mr. Forrest, who uh, I think is suffering from, uh, from an acute stroke. And get that patient treated as soon as possible after they um, present to your hospital. So one of the important things to realize about stroke care these days is that just as with uh, cardiovascular care, time is very important. And all of the interventions that we do are very, very time sensitive. It's been estimated that for every minute that a patient with an ischemic stroke does not receive therapy, they lose two million brain cells. I just wanted to uh, touch base with you to see if you thought that that was indicated. Sure, that sounds very reasonable. Definitely within the time window for treatment. Okay, hi Mr. Forrest, how you doing there? All right. The typical community hospital um, it's very difficult to uh, either get a neurological consultation and particularly to get a consultation from an expert in stroke. One of the problems with the current methodology is that either the doctor has to be physically present at the hospital um, or they have to uh, use a phone consultation which of course does not allow you to actually see the patient and evaluate the patient. And in neurology it's one of those specialties where it's very important to be able to see the patient and oftentimes the diagnosis is made just by visual inspection. Put your arms out in front of you just like that. Good. Put them up in front of you just like that. Hold them up. Don't let them down. Let, don't let them down. We have many different options for um, how this can be done. We can provide the equipment. Some hospitals want to buy their own equipment for other purposes. We, will, we can lease the equipment to you. So it, it really depends on what your particular circumstance is. The only thing that's really necessary is a desire to have this in your hospital. And if you have the desire to do that, we can certainly make it happen. Don't let it come down. Keep it up. Keep it up. The support for the telemedicine is actually quite robust. We have a person that's available to integrate with your IT department, or if you don't have an IT department, we can provide the staff that will help you uh, bring up your telemedicine program. Really, all that's required for uh, a program of this sort is an internet connection of some kind and a little bit of money, because the rest of it we provide. We provide the equipment, we provide the expert personnel, we provide the liaison with the physicians, the education, uh, everything that you need to really have an integrated program. So we can pretty much take care of any possible or potential type of stroke and, and or their complications. A lot of people ask, what exactly are you signing up for when you join our program? And you're really getting the whole package. You uh, get access to highly trained experts in neurology and neurosurgery, people that have special expertise in stroke and vascular care. You also get access to all of our technological services. You are able to transfer the patient to us if you need for higher level of care. And that ends up being a very important aspect to have that connection with a hospital that has highly trained personnel that take care of your patients. An another important aspect of our uh, program is that we are complementary to whatever you have at your existing site. Many of the hospitals that we work with actually have neurologists available and expert personnel available, but they're not available all the time. And this can fill a very uh, important gap in the coverage. And by having this available, you have 24-7 availability of uh, a neurologist with video comp consultation and, and the ability to transfer the patient if necessary. And of course, we try and keep the referring hospital in the loop and we provide services to get the patient back to the hospital that they came from and integrate them back into their local community.